Hello everyone, welcome to the infamous Wall of Shame, where the journalist's reputations go to die, where journalists have to print retractions and corrections and articles questioning my journalism ethics. Today's retracto goes to CBS News. Irina Ivanova of Money Watch. Is she exposing the Wall Street corruption? Is she exposing the FXT guy? No, no, she's writing about Project Veritas and the Washington Post, the Roy Moore story from five years ago. She writes, quote, the conservative media group, best known for a failed attempt. What, what are we best known for at Project Veritas? What do you think it is? Congress defunding ACORN? The, the Somali guy ballot harvesting? How about the defamation lawsuit against the New York Times? The fact that there were congressional hearings in Washington, D.C.? No, 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 no. What we're known for, according to Money Watch, is a failed attempt to plant a false story about Roy Moore in the Washington Post. That is what we are best known for. Best known for a failed attempt to plant a false story about Roy Moore in the Washington Post. Hyphen was suspended from Twitter in 2021 for disclosing people's private information, a charge it denied. Well, first of all, when you say that I'm disclosing people's private information, it sounds like I'm disclosing people's social security numbers, bank information. No, we just filmed a guy in the street and the lamp post was being shown. What? Which is something that CNN's Drew Griffin has done and he remained on Twitter. This is outrageous. It's unfair. After we got the correction, it now reads the conservative media group hyphen quote, known for producing undercover videos that purport to show, purport to show, liberal bias in the press hyphen was suspended. So we've gone from best known for a failed attempt to plant a false story, that's false, to purport to show bias in the press. What inspired you to build a second hit piece right next door to the original? Money. That's a good change. It's a good change. But not good enough. Of course not. That's not good enough. There's nothing liberal about many of the things that we've purported to show. Most recently, uh, the butt plug dean in Chicago was giving out sex toys to minors. Well, they're just like plastic dildos, butt plugs. The kids are just playing with them. That's a really troubling thing. Do you want your 14-year-old girl, your 14-year-old daughter, to receive sex toys from the dean of students? When we showed the guy in Greenwich, Connecticut, he was not hiring people over the age of 30. Is that liberal bias? When a guy votes twice who's a Republican in New Hampshire, is that liberal bias? when Charlie Chester at CNN says that it's all about fear, we have to make them afraid. Is that liberal bias that we're purporting to show? What is that? So, you made the correction, but it wasn't good enough. Why do you have to use this, this, this language? What the hell does any of this have to do with Money Watch? I, don't, I have no idea. Going back to your original lie, which you've now admitted is a lie, you didn't even say that we're purporting to show liberal bias. You said that we tried to plant a fake story in the Washington Post. That's as absurd as saying that our undercover journalist with Charlie Chester was trying to plant a fake story at CNN, when obviously she wasn't. We met with the Washington Post reporter to try to expose them, and they're upset that we're investigating them. They don't want to be investigated. This correction is a disgrace. Suffice to say, I'll consider suing you for defamation. And you owe your audience an apology for what you've done here. We're going to put it on the wall of shame where it will live in infamy. As you can see, we're running out of space here. There's no more space. We have to dangle them from the ceiling or from the side of the walls like TGI Friday. Put them on the top of the wall, dangle them in the pub. All of this is going to be avoided if you just stuck to the facts. You're going to get an alpaca. We're going to send it to you at Money Watch, a New Year's present from all of us at Project Veritas. And now that I'm back on Twitter, I can tag you. I'm going to tag you on the Twitters. So, there you have it. That's a wrap. Bye-bye.